Be, attent be attentive to that which God is saying. Be attentive for the blessings as they come, as they come before your eyes or come into your ears or come into your sense of touch or smell or taste. Be attentive for the blessings because blessings are part of the unfolding plan of God. It is the unfolding plan of God. We are part of the unfolding plan of God in the history of this church in the last four years. We are part of the unfolding plan of God. We have experienced the unfolding of plan of God because in the life of this congregation, there have been powerful, wonderful, significant, small things, great things, a lot of things in between. Wonderful things that reveal to us, if we're attentive to hearing them, to seeing them, hearing the testimonies, be attentive to what is going on among us, we are experiencing the unfolding plan of God. And part of that is blessings. There's been a period of time in the last two and a half, well, going on three years now, where 14 people have come to faith, newfound faith in Jesus Christ in this church. Young, old, and a lot of stuff in between. I'm declaring it to you. How come I don't know who in their names? I'm declaring it to you. It has happened. It has happened. There's record of it. We're part of the unfolding plan of God. There have been those who have experienced deliverance of burdens and fears. I mean, downstairs in Sunday school, we heard it all over again. There were testimonies, testimonies abounding of people saying, I had sleep last night and was able to go into my bedroom without a sense of fear and dread for the first time in a long, long time. That may not mean anything to you. It certainly meant something to that woman who hadn't had a good night's sleep in quite a while. We're part of the unfolding plan of God, and that blessings are ever before us. It is part of our most recent history in the life of this church. There have been those people who have been healed physically and emotionally and spiritually, perhaps instantaneously, perhaps beginning in a moment and then beginning in a season, or perhaps leading to the impact of someone coming into their lives like a doctor or a team of doctors that suddenly where you didn't have any hope months ago, but suddenly there is hope and lives are coming forth. Life is being shown. Light is coming. Life is being manifested. We're in the midst of the unfolding plan of God. The unfolding plan, the unfolding of God's plan we hear in Mary's song, the Magnificats. Now, the interesting thing is about these verses, verses 46, uh, 46 to 55 in Mary's song, really is that there are both blessings and there are difficulties. I'm not going to say curses. That's Old Testament. There are blessings and there are difficulties. There are blessings. She spe as she speaks, she speaks that truly, Lord, in, the, in what is about to unfold, the humble will be lifted up. The hungry will be filled. And those who fear him will receive mercy. And consequently, very much in keeping with Old Testament prophecy, you can see a parallel between what she says and Miriam's song out of Exodus. There's this point counterpoint of blessings and difficulties. There are difficulties when the unfolding of God's plan happens and we are participating in it. The proud are scattered in their thoughts. The rulers are pulled down from their places of their high places or their places of authority. And the rich are sent away empty. Well, why aren't, why aren't everybody blessed? Why isn't everybody unfolded? Why isn't everybody met where God meets them where they are? And all opportunities are, are made available for them. And my answer to you is I don't know. But here, as Mary says, in the unfolding plan of God, there are blessings. And there are difficulties. There are blessings and there are difficulties.